Today, I'm revealing something that's gonna sound a bit wild at first. How diving deep into the world of business completely changed my approach to Roblox and Roblox development. So stick around because this isn't just a game-changing piece of advice. This is a life-changing perspective. So it all started when I was researching business. I was diving deep into business strategies, listening to people like Alex Ramosi and absorbing the knowledge of leverage, the 80-20 rule, and the art of giving value to get value. Then it hit me. All these principles, they're not just for business, they're actually the exact thing you need to dominate in Roblox as well. Business skills are meta skills for life. So the second point is the skills that you should look at, which when applied to Roblox can make you incredibly successful when you apply them correctly. So let's break it down. Sales, persuasion, psychology, marketing. These aren't just random jargon. These are actually the exact things you need for success. And here's the thing. They apply perfectly to Roblox. How? Glad you asked. Sales is all about uncovering the value you have to provide to people in just the perfect way so that they feel ready to buy and, and take action. This applies perfectly to Roblox because there's times where you're gonna need to sell your ideas. You're gonna need to sell yourself. You're gonna need to sell your work. You're gonna need to be able to take commissions. You're gonna need to be able to tell people to join your game. You're gonna need to be able to network with people and get help from large developers and YouTubers. To do this, you can't just go up to them and ask. You have to understand sales. And understanding sales has uncovered so many opportunities for me. Persuasion. Persuasion is about guiding people to the outcomes that they want. It's about showing them that you can help them get what they desire. It's about selling for their reason, not just yours. And when you understand this, you can truly walk through life a lot easier. And that especially applies in places like Roblox, where you're gonna need to work with people all the time. Then marketing. According to Myron Golden, a very successful millionaire entrepreneur, marketing is the art and science of discovering and developing in other people a desire for more and more or service or opportunity, or in this case, your game, missions, or anything else you do on Roblox, maybe even a YouTube channel. It's about discovering finding that interest in people and developing it and making people more and more interested in your stuff until they're practically addicted to it. Who doesn't want that for their game or for their clothing store or for their group on Roblox? It sounds amazing, right? Marketing is essential to Roblox, but barely anyone on the platform truly understands marketing. And finally, psychology ties all of these things together. So you're starting to see how business skills are essential to Roblox development. And I'm gonna teach you more about this as we go. So let's go to the next point, the meta skills. These are meta skills for life. There's skills, right? And those are on your base level. Those are your, you know, for example, in Roblox, there's building, there's modeling, there's scripting. But above this are what I'd like to call meta skills. Meta skills are skills that are above your skills. They're skills that apply to everything, no matter what you're doing. Whether you're selling a car, whether you're selling a Roblox game, you're gonna need to understand sales, persuasion, psychology, marketing, speaking, even writing. When you learn meta skills, skills that apply to everything, you're gonna gain a lot in all things in life, not just earning Robux, but it's gonna help you a lot there too. So now that you understand the meta skills, next is leverage and the 80-20 rule. So first up, leverage in business is about getting the most out of every effort. In Roblox, it's about creating games that keep players coming back without you having to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to keep making insane games. The minimum, absolute, bare bones, simple game that gets you the most results and the most players. And this isn't about not creating your creative projects. It's about conserving your resources and ensuring that you get the most results from the least put in. And the 80-20 rule, it's very, very related. It's about focusing on the 20% of your work that brings in the 80% of your players or the 80% of your Robux and cutting out everything else that doesn't help that ruthlessly. That's the secret. And most people on Roblox really don't understand this. It's truly remarkable once you do. Point four is giving value. So this isn't just about flooding the market with what you think it needs. It's about actually thinking from your ideal player or your ideal viewer or your ideal customer's point of view. 
It's about listening, adapting, and providing something so irresistible that your audience can't help but engage. Whether it's a game, whether it's an event, whether it's unique content for your Roblox YouTube channel, whether it's amazing sneak peeks of your commission work, it's all about the value that you give. Here's the real twist. These skills, this mindset of business, and these meta skills, it doesn't just stop with Roblox. It actually goes into every aspect of your life, including turning every interaction, every challenge into an opportunity to get better, to grow and to succeed. And what's the moral of the story? Well, don't box yourself in. You're not just a developer. You're not just a gamer. You're not just a YouTuber. You're not just a student. You're not just a subscriber. You are your person who can literally learn whatever you want. The skills are out there and you can learn them right now. So go out there, learn, apply, and watch as the possibilities unfold before you in ways that you never thought possible once you learn these meta skills. Most people, they stay stuck with really, really specialized skills, with really, really specific skills, and they never expand. Once you learn these meta skills, you can promote yourself. You can promote your games, you can promote your videos, you can promote anything that you make and you can stop being boxed in and you can start expanding. I recently made a tweet about this. I said that, you know, my channel isn't just a Roblox dev channel. It's a self-improvement channel. It's a business channel. It's a mindset channel. And we also do development. Learning these types of skills in business, ex expanding what you do is truly gonna allow you to live the fullest life possible and do the things that you wanna do no matter what it is, whether it's Roblox or something else. So if this video has opened your eyes to a new way of seeing Roblox or anything else, you can go ahead and subscribe and you can watch the video on screen to learn about several ways to actually earn free Robux, the real way though. And you can apply these business insights to make a ton more from these methods. So once you watch that video, you're gonna see what's possible. Catch you later.